All right, I want to do a Hellboy costume, but I'm just short, and Hellboy is a kind of tall dude. So I decided I'm going to make some platform or lift shoes, which I'm going to make out of boots. So to do a quick video, I'm going to describe how I did it. And basically, you start with creating a template of your own foot and then tracing that template onto some EVA foam. I ended up cutting out seven pieces for each boot. I've marked them left and right so I don't get confused and they give you a total length of about four extra inches. So I think that's good enough. Don't forget to mark right and left so you don't get confused. And also if you have the textured mats like this, you're going to have to sand that off. I'm not going to show you that, just telling you right now to really make the, the contact cement work, you want to shave that off or sand it. So we're going to start with being safe. Put on a particle mask whatever you have handy that will keep the dust from getting into your lungs and we're going to start gluing them together. We'll end up with something that looks like this. It's not pretty yet but uh, we'll make it pretty in the end. But again it's four extra inches of height and uh, they're connected to these boots and I think they look pretty good. So these are already stuck together. Uh, skip showing you all the gluing because everybody knows how to do the gluing by now and just going to show you the next step. When you're attaching the sole to the foam, you want to make sure you rough up the area to give the glue an extra place to attach, uh, just to give it a, a better grip, if you will. I decided, uh, since these were kind of falling apart anyway, I was just going to rip off the sole, and then I just sanded up the, the leather, I guess that's leather, part on the bottom, and decided to stick it right on there. Now, I could have stuck that actual grip on the bottom of this, but I decided not to do that. So I attached my rubber cement. I'm going a little thick here because this has been sitting for a while and it's starting to go bad. It's getting a little thick. So I'm just going to go ahead and use it. Uh, with most builds, you want to do two layers of barge, letting each one dry 10 minutes between each layer. But I did one thick layer on the bottom and one thick layer on the top of the boot excuse me, the bottom of the boot, which would be the top of this connection that we're making. And uh, since it's so thick and gooey, I just went with one thick coat. Next, after everything has had time to dry, I'm going to stick it together and apply a lot of pressure to make sure that contact cement has the required contact that you need. And then I found these um, little vices that I have down the basement. I decided to use them to actually help grip it a little better. I put it two on the front and one on the back to help hold it with a little extra pressure while the glue cured. Now there's a lot of things you can make these out of but I decided foam is what we use, foam is what we're going to use for this. Now I also want to reinforce it with some hot glue, especially in the front where it lifted a little bit and where the heel is. I'm going to try to fill that up with glue as much as possible and go around the edges as well to really hold this together. I don't want it to fall off in mid, you know, t in the middle of wearing it and break an ankle. So we're going to continue around the whole boot, filling in the gaps and letting that cure. Once that's done, we're going to take our razor knife and we're going to begin trimming this up to make it a little more flush. I'm cutting towards myself right here. This is a no-no. It's a good way to cut yourself. So cut away from yourself. And once you're done with that, grab your mask again because we're going to start sanding. And we're going to go around this and sand it down a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect if you're going to go on to the next video, which will come out shortly, that will show how to make a cover. If you want it to be pretty and not use a cover, you're going to have to sand a little better. I did not, as you can see here, because I know I'm going to cover it. This is adequate. But if you wanted to paint it just as is, you'll want to cover it in Mod Podge or whatever and go ahead and paint. And again, this gives us four extra inches. And the next video will show you how we make these covers.